One, two, three. Hello, my name is Diego from the Hit Music Studio, and in this video, I want to help you play the song Silent Night, and this is a little sample of our holiday course. Now, I'm going to try to keep it brief. The beginning, what I just played, is for you to use it so you can use it as a play-along. So once you get good at this, you can try to play it with me so the rhythms are correct. The other thing is that we want to give you access to our sheet music, so you can do that by checking the link on the description of this video, and we're also going to post a, a link to the actual course that we did for holiday. So that way, if you want to learn more of these songs and get a little bit like more in-depth tutorials, you can do so. So let me give you a couple of pointers because one thing that I see a lot when I when we get to the holiday seasons and I start teaching all of the songs uh, and pieces is that there's a lot of common mistakes. So now, very important on this one, we're in the sheet music, we actually have all of the numbers. And I think that's something that we have been doing here, the hit that is new. So every time that you have a note on sheet music, we're going to put a number. That number is your finger. So uh, one is going to be your thumbs, pinky will be five. It is very important to try to follow that, and I would encourage you to learn it directly with the correct numbers because it makes a big difference. So here, uh, finger two on G and one on E. So we're not in normal position or C position. We're a little bit to the right, and we're not having a finger on F because we're not playing it, so there's no need to have a finger there. Now, you're going to have to move your hand a little bit. So first line, we're technically in, I guess, with the thumb on E. Then we're going to move to the pinky on D, and it's a high D. So you can see there on our sheet music, we'll, we use a couple things to make sure that you know that it's not this D, but it's actually this D. So when I play that, the D, then B, and then C. Another common mistake that I see is people almost tend to play all of the rhythms like every single note was the same size. That's not how it goes. It's so keep an eye for eighth notes. Those are the ones that have the flag, which are shorter. So when we go to here, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you have notes that are two counts, notes that are uh, three counts, notes that are one count. Make sure that you do that. A very common thing, almost everyone fails at this. Uh, line three plays twice. So this section. That actually repeats. So make sure that you don't miss that. Now then we have a couple of sections with changes. So we're going to do three over here. And now these two notes. That section sounds weird if you play it super slow. It's not supposed to be hold. So it's not, let me hold this for half an hour and let me hold this for another half an hour. If you play it very slow, sometimes the students complain that eh, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't, it sounds good if you just go through it quickly. One, two, three, one, two, three, because it's almost like a little effect. And the last thing that I want to say is the very end of the song, this line. There's a switch in the middle of the line. So I'm doing five, two, one, five, four, two, one. And I will practice just that. I see a lot of struggle here, not only playing the rhythms incorrectly, but also not using the rhythms, the, sorry, the fingers that are there, which makes a big difference. Now, let me conclude by saying I'm using a sustain pedal, which makes that switching here a lot easier for me to let go of the notes and use the, the pedal to be able to connect them. And if you uh, do not have a sustain pedal, we actually, there's one that we recommend that it's in the, we can put it on the description of this video as well, but I think that's important to, to own so that way your playing starts sounding good. So once again, if you would like to, to get more information about our holiday piano course, that's going to be linked in the description. We want to thank you for watching. We put this content to help our students to play during the holidays for their families and friends. And I would encourage you to, once you have it, 
it, maybe just learn it with the right hand and play it with the beginning of the video. Because I also see a lot of rhythms that almost take these songs in pieces and yeah, almost like wreck them a little bit by, by changing them up a lot. And the thing with this music that is so traditional and well known is that you can't really like change it because everyone has heard it. So you really want to learn it correctly. So uh, we hope the video was uh, easy to follow along and that you learned something new. If you uh, would like more information about what we do here at The Hit, definitely check our main website, thehitmusicstudio.com. We'll see you guys on the next one and happy holidays.